How did the Prophet sallallahu treat Aisha now at a domestic level when we say he was gentle? Ya Rasulallah, Ya Habib, Ya Rasulallah. Oh, I always love it when I think of will ever all the men in the world just do a fraction of the, what the Prophet did to their wives? You know, when he got married to Safiya, what he did, alayhi salatu wasalam, he was meeting Safiya on the wedding night and he took off his turban and he turned it into a camel saddle. He put it on the camel and he turned his leg into a step, alayhi salatu wasalam, so she can put her foot on it and jump on the camel. And I say, subhanallah, in the seventh century, we have the most, the gentlest type of man that you can ever imagine. In any romantic novel that you ever read, you cannot see that. Someone treating his wife with, with such gentleness. Now with Aisha herself, he used to invite her, come eat with me, honey. He used to put her there and eat with her and give her the same cup to drink from the same spot that he drank. Mawaddatan wa rahma, Mercy and affection, subhanAllah. Now, this is not haram what I'm saying. What I'm telling you is how to treat her. It's not haram, Allah. It's nothing bad about that. Because people tend to forget that their wives exist in the home, right? How did he treat, treat Khadija, radiallahu anha? He loved Khadija so much, radiallahu anha, that even when she died, and you know the story, he used to collect her friends, and any time that there was meat, he used to distribute the meat. Come, let them eat from Sada'iq Khadija. Let them come and eat from this uh, charity for Khadija that I'm having. So it's loyalty. It's loyalty even after her death. Nowadays, if a woman dies, a man says, Alhamdulillah, I got rid of her. Now it's time to find another one. <laughs> because of all the lust that people have in this society, subhanAllah. Now, did the Prophet وسلم, ever abuse his wives verbally? Verbally? Did he ever utter bad words to them or even to his children? To the children or to kids in general? Ya Hamar, sorry. Ya Kal, sorry. I'm sorry I'm using that. But they call them dogs and they call them donkeys and they call them all kinds of things. Now, these are the kids, not the wives, alhamdulillah. I hope it doesn't get to that. But sometimes they do. They do more than that with emotional abuse, with emotional abuse and psychological abuse. And I never dreamt in my life, when I first came to the U.S. and got my education here, never dreamt in my life that there will be a day when there will be a shelter for Muslim women, a shelter against domestic violence. Never did I ever dream that Islam, this beautiful religion, and the people that follow it would hurt their women so much that they have to resort to a shelter in refuge, in refuge, running away from the violence of the home.